There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. While at Gringotts Wizard Bank, Hagrid collected a scruffy package from Vol. Gryffindor! Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Only this morning, I took a wrong turn and stumbled upon a room full of chocolate frogs. But alas, when I returned, they'd been replaced by a, a nasty horde of fire crabs. Now, up the stairs and off to your lessons. Don't be late. Your first lesson is upstairs on the third floor, Mr. Potter. Hey, Harry! You remember me? No Weasley? My brothers, Fred and George, have something to show you. Follow me! Follow me, Harry! Hello, Harry. We can show you how to get around Hogwarts. As a first year, you have a lot to learn. Follow us for a secret lesson. I'll see you later in defense against the Dark Arts class. Good luck, Harry. We're going to teach you how to climb. Run to the bookcase and don't stop. You'll climb up. Above the bookcase is a Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Bean. Collect all the beans you can find and meet us in the next room. Well done. Now, let's try jumping. Run to the ledge, then press the jump button to jump across. If you fall down, you can climb back up and start over. Meet us in the next room. We'll take the shortcut and meet you there. Whoa, it's Potty Willy Potter! That's Peeves, the poltergeist. He's always causing trouble. 
Peeve doesn't like fur shears, so watch your step. Correct. Thanks for good luck. And welcome on this garbage run. Thanks, Buck. Nice. We need the beans for some <coughs> experiments. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. These are my fellow Slytherins, Crab and Goyle. Naturally, we Slytherins are going to win the House Cup and the Quidditch Cup. You better stay out of our way, Potter. Let's go, boys. Professor Quill. Today we'll learn how to protect ourselves against the dark magic with the flippendo spell. Watch my wand. Then hold down the mouse button and repeat the pattern. Release the button when you're done. <laughs> I think you can improve. Five points for Gryffindor. You mean to try you working to faster this time, Mr. P yeah, Potter? I might be a good at saving. That's now unfortunately for me if I want to. That's that. not it, Mr. P Potter. Splendid! You may now enter the Flipendo Challenge to p practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. P -P Potter. Hold d down the mouse button to aim the Flipendo spell. Release the b -b button to cast the spell. T -t Try it on that b -b barrel. Flipendo! I got almost everything in my PB, so it's hard to beat it now. Cast your flipendo so, spell yeah. at the switch on the wall to open the d door. Flipendo affects all sorts of things, such as this cauldron. Knock it over, Mr. P Potter. Potter. I am nearly headless Nick, the Gryffindor house ghost. Now, this is a save game book. When you touch it, your game will automatically be saved. The game will restart from this point if you faint. You can also load a saved game from the main menu. Goodbye. Flipendo! Flipendo! Cast your flipendo spell on this block to knock it out of the way. Flipendo! Flipendo! 
This is a no, Mr. Potter. They like to p p pester young wizards, knock him on his backside to complete the challenge. They move quickly and c can be c quite a nuisance. Congratulations, Mr. Potter. You completed the challenge. You collected the required number of challenge stars. Five points for Gryffindor. Now, get to broomstick p -p practice before, before you're late. Back in their Gryffindor common room, Harry, Ron, and Hermione talked about their exciting first days at Hogwarts. There was much talk about the break-in at Gringotts Wizard Bank, but there was little time to dwell on this since Harry and his friends were expected at their flying lesson with Madame Hooch. I am your instructor, Madam Hooch. For your first lesson, you will fly through these magic rings. Control your broom with the direction keys. To speed up and speed up, and keys adjust your flight speed. Ready, Potter? On my whistle, then. Well done, Mr. Potter. See how you do with smaller rings. Let's add a bit of height. These rings should challenge you. Perfect score. 20 points for Gryffindor. From now on, you may practice flying at any time. You will find the option on the main menu. Time for your charms lesson now. Good day, Mr. Potter. You're early for the lesson, Harry, but I'll teach you a new spell I've learned on my own. The spell I learned is Alahamora. It will open magically locked things, but don't get into any mischief. This is the symbol for Alahamora. When I stop, hold down the mouth button and make the same pattern. Then let go of the button. Alahamora! That was brilliant, Harry. Great, Harry. 
I'm sure Professor Flitwick would give you five house points for that charm. You're getting the hang of this. What was that? Now you try using Alhamora. We still have a few minutes before the charms lesson. That door in front of you is magically locked. Cast Alhamora to open it. Alhamora! You've got it. Now, can you find the two secrets in this room? Alhamora! If you're done admiring yourself, Harry, take a look at that magical chest. Cast Alhamora to unlock it. Classes through this door. Welcome, young wizards. I am Professor Flitwick, and today you will learn the levitation spell Wingardium Leviosa. Observe the correct Wingardium Leviosa symbol. When I stop, hold down the mouse button and follow the pattern, then release the button. Most impressive, Mr. Potter. Five points for Gryffindor. Let's continue with the lesson, Mr. Potter. Do pay attention, Mr. Potter. That's not what I taught you. You may now enter the Wingardium Leviosa challenge to practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. Potter. Wingardium Leviosa on that statue, then move it onto that large plate. Wingardium Leviosa! Well done! Now go and collect the challenge stars. I'll meet you at the end. Good luck, Mr. Potter. You're ugly, but what can we do? Hey, Harry, do you have 25 beans for us? We need the beans for some. 
experiments. Everyone said you belong in a zone. <laughs> if you look in a mirror, it's Hey, Potter, do you like surprises? Malfoy's got a present for you. You better you watch your step. <laughs> I'm pleased, Potter, and you better watch out for me. Well, well, Potter, we meet again. Having a tour of the castle, are we? Harry, over here. Hello, Harry, it's me, Hagrid. Good to see you. These are the Hogwarts Castle grounds, and I'm the gamekeeper, of course. Can't believe how quickly everything grows round here. Your friend Hermione's at the entrance to the greenhouse waiting for you. Drop round for tea later, after your lessons are done. The herbology lesson has just passed Professor Sprout's garden. I'll wait here for Neville. I think he's got lost again. Go on, Harry. You better get to the lesson. Welcome, class. I am Professor Sprout. Today we'll learn the incendio spell, which is useful against all manner of dangerous plants. Observe the correct incendio symbol. Hold down the mouse button and follow the pattern. Then release the button. Great incendio, Mr. Potter. Five points for Gryffindor. Try to go a little bit quicker this time. Whatever the spell is you're attempting, it's not incendio. Now it's time for the incendio challenge. Through the doors, Mr. Potter. I'll watch you from the back. Those are spiky bushes. You may cast incendio on them, but step back to avoid their needles. Incendio! This is a typical species of venomous tentacular, cast incendio. Now make the challenge stars to complete your lesson. Away you go. Incendio! 
Here comes Neville. He looks quite upset. Best go and see what he wants. Please help me. So Longbottom has gone sniveling to you, and you want me to give you his precious Remembrol. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to collect. How about up a tree? <laughs> think you can catch me? Come on then, Potter. Give me back Neville's Remembrall, Malfoy. You want the Remembrall back? See if you can catch it. And you better watch out for my bludgers! <laughs> you damaged my broomstick, Potter! You'll pay for this! Here, take this stupid thing. I've no use for it. Remember all back. Thanks, Harry. I'll be able to find my toad now. Come here, Trevor. Come back. I remember now. I left Trevor near the herbology class. There are plants there that eat toads. Mr. Potter. I'm Professor McGonagall, deputy headmistress of Hogwarts and head of Gryffindor House. Although I do not approve of your chasing Malfoy about, I'll admit you have remarkable talent on a broomstick. Ordinarily, first-year students may not compete in Quidditch. In your case, we might overlook that rule. Harry, Gryffindor's first Quidditch match of the year is later this afternoon against the formidable Slytherin team. See you then. Over here. Come along then. I've something to show you at my hut. By the way, congratulations on making the Quidditch team. Word travels fast round Hogwarts. <laughs> Welcome to my home, Harry. It's small, but still roomier than your cupboard under the stairs, eh?
Now I can show you what I wanted to talk to you about. It's a dragon's egg, Harry. But it's our secret, mind you. The egg is at a very delicate stage. I can't leave it here alone, but I need some fire seeds to give it that last burst of heat to make it hatch. Harry, can you fetch me some fire seeds? I grow them in caves out in the garden. I need you to collect as many fire seeds as you can find. Careful though, they're spitting fire and the seeds are hot. Let them cool down before you pick them up. Off you go then. collected all the fire seeds I need. Come on inside, Harry. Wipe your feet now. Go ahead and put them in the fire, Harry. You've done it, Harry. It's hatching. Hey, easily. I'll call him Norbert. He's a Norwegian Ridgeback, you know. Up you come, my beauty. Thanks, Harry. Here, take this flute. It can be used to help some creatures sleep. You'd best get ready for Quidditch now. Should be an exciting game. Slytherin's a tough team, but you'll show them, eh? Hmm. We'd better give Norbert his first feed soon. Favoritism. Sorry, miss. Remember, first. 
Just avoid the bludgers, then find and catch the snitch. The game is over when the snitch is caught. Good luck. Let's plutsy quit it, quit it, quit it, quit it. Here comes Potter. Uh, yeah, a perfect catch. Potter brings it home for Gryffindor. Potter's done it. Gryffindor have beaten Slytherin. Well done, Harry Potter. My name's Lee Jordan. Signing off. Harry Potter, the youngest seeker in the history of Hogwarts, had won the Quidditch match. Congratulations again for winning the Quidditch match against Slytherin. You are fantastic. Something is troubling me, Harry. Ron and I heard strange noises outside the Forbidden Corridor. Come up to the third floor and have a look. You may begin the Loomis challenge to practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. Papata. Hold down the mouse button to aim the spell. To cast Lumos, let go of the button. You may practice on that g g gargoyle. Lumos! <laughs> That's quite bright, isn't it? Now you can c cross the chasm and collect your challenge stars. I'll meet you at the end.
Next is our potions lesson, and it looks like we're already late. I am your potions teacher, Professor Snape. Today, you will learn how to mix a Wigan Weld healing potion. You're late for potions, Mr. Potter. Inexcusable, even for celebrities. Five points from Gryffindor. Potter, go to the dungeons and fetch the potion ingredients for the class. Bring back Wigan Tree Bark, Moly, Dittany, and Flobberworm Mucus. Be quick about it or I shall deduct house points from Gryffindor. Now be gone, and don't come back without the ingredients. Hmm, that must be Disney. Ugh. Where am I? I wonder if Snake tricked me. the bloody Baron.
be dissonant. Late again, you lazy boy. A further three points from Gryffindor should teach you a lesson. I see you've collected a few challenge stars, but I'm afraid they have no value in my classroom. I've ended the lesson without you, Potter. The other students are off to the Halloween feast. Join them, if you must. She needs our help. We must try to rescue her straight away. <laughs> Harry, what's that smell? Trump's club, so it bashes him in the head. Wingardium Leviosa! <laughs> Thanks for saving me. 
Is he dead? I think he's just been knocked out. Come on, let's get out of here. Exhausted from their encounter with the troll, Harry, Ron, and Hermione returned to the Gryffindor common room and discussed the strange goings on at Hogwarts. Harry suspected that someone had released the troll to distract everyone so that they could get into the Forbidden Corridor. But there wasn't much time to think about who was behind this, especially since Harry was busy preparing for the second Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Oh. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your common idol, Lee Jordan! It's Gryffindor versus Ravenclaw! Oh, let's play Quidditch! A glint of gold? Is that the snitch? Look at what a go! He's after the snitch! Oh, hard luck, Gryffindor! Uh, here comes the Ravenclaw speaker! Wonderful! Oh, beautifully done! Gryffindor wins again! My name's Lee Jordan, signing off! Thanks to Harry's skill as a seeker, Gryffindor won the Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Harry, Ron, and Hermione spent most of their free time in Hagrid's hut, trying to convince him that he couldn't keep Norbert his beloved dragon. Eventually, after much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. Harry unwrapped the unexpected Christmas present. Something fluid and silvery slithered out. It's an invisibility cloak, said Ron. They're very rare. There was a note with the cloak. Your father left this in my possession, Harry read. Use it well. A very Merry Christmas to you. Harry tried on the cloak, while Ron and Hermione helped him prepare for the climb up the tower. Be careful, Harry, said Hermione. You can't stay invisible while you cast spells. Filch might see you. With Norbert safely bundled up, Harry set off for the tallest tower. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. Come out, come out, everybody. I get up there. I'll catch you, and when I do, you'll regret it. <laughs> uh, I'll catch you, and when I do, you'll regret it.
Ron's brother, Charlie, had arranged to collect the dragon from the tower and return him to Romania. you for sure this time. Quick, Mrs. Norris. You keep watch from above. You'll not get past me now, you rotten little gutter snipes. What's going on? Who was that? Someone's got past me. Intruder! Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what, thought Harry. Filthy whelps gave us the slip, Mrs. Norris. I've locked the only door out of here for the sake of me nerves. Stay here and watch the library for a bit, my dear. Yeah. 
Fluffy and point keys. Ron and Harry researched the secret of the Sorcerer's Stone. It could produce the elixir of life, a potion that would make anyone immortal. No wonder someone's trying to get it. Anyone would want it, said Harry. Hermione suspected that the package Hagrid had taken from Gringotts contained the Sorcerer's Stone. It was the Sorcerer's Stone that was down the Forbidden Corridor, being guarded by whatever it was that had growled at them. Snape's been acting very suspicious lately. He may be planning to steal the Sorcerer's Stone. But there's no way Snape would try anything while Dumbledore's around. But Dumbledore left ten minutes ago for the Ministry of Magic in London. That must mean that tonight's the night. Let's go! What about Filch? He's always watching the Forbidden Corridor. We'll just have to take our chances then. <sighs> it looks like Filch is somewhere else tonight. Come on, let's go. where the growling has been coming from. Hear that? I don't think we should go in there. But we've got to stop Snape. Go on, Harry. We're right behind you.
want to go first, Hermione? No, I don't. Right. See you in a minute. I hope. It's okay! It's a soft landing! You can jump! Come on, Harry. I know what this is. It's a devil's snare. Next time I'm going to pay more attention in herbology. Help! It's a devil's snare! Try not to get too close to those tentacles. Thanks, Harry. That was close, Harry. This way, Harry. Skills to practice. Good luck, Harry. Harry, let's see where this leads. The next puzzle is a gigantic chessboard. Ron's gone through to play. I hope he's all right. Come on, let's go! Looks like you have to choose the right potion. Be careful, Harry. It could be poison. I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. I suppose you were expecting someone else. Well, it's me, scared, stuttering Professor Quirrell. 
You're far too inquisitive to remain among the living. Flipendo. 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 Flipendo.